So today I have a very special uh, story for you that I want to share that actually it was one of our members who was close with the family of one of our coaches, Coach John. And so we had Coach John do the interview with him and he worked closely with Coach John as he went through his program. And a few things to note about that is all of our coaches in our program have Crohn's colitis ourselves. So that's one of the things that makes us very unique is we know exactly what it takes to get real results and we know exactly what you're going through. This is a story of how Will was able to eliminate his UC after feeling you know, very skeptical about the idea of natural medicine and only wanted to do what his doctors told him and, and finding that revelation and, and getting real results. So uh, before we jump into it, I want to give you three things that I think really helped Will get really big results that you can do as well. So number one is Will started with what we call a proven system or a daily blueprint. So something he could consistently do over and over again that had already worked for others. And right when he started, and he started doing that, he started seeing symptom relief instantaneously, pretty instantaneously that you're gonna hear him talk about. And it wasn't perfect, but boom, started getting some relief and started getting some belief uh, with that proven system. Now, as we went, we started to, number two, customize. So Will started to customize his plan and critique his plan based on his root causes, uh, his lab work, his unique experience and how he was feeling, uh, his sense of emotional excitement or desire around what he was doing every single day. So that personalization is really important on how Will continue to go up and up and up and up and get better and better even to this day. So that's number two that you can do. And number three is Will started getting happy while he was on the journey to getting healthy. So he found clarity and excitement and, and dopamine and, and fell in love with the whole process of what he was doing. And that allowed him to be even more consistent with what he was, with what he was learning and implementing. And so uh, he learned to get happy and healthy at the same time. So those three things are things that you can start doing right now and ask yourself, can you be consistent with your daily routine? Is it proven? Number two, are you customizing it to you? Do you understand your lab work and your root cause issues? Number three, are you getting happy and excited about what you're learning and doing so you can continue to reduce that stress and anxiety? So if you need help with that, we're always here for you. You can put the link below for a free session to talk with one of our coaches about your needs, your goals, and a game plan all below. And, um, and in the meantime, I hope you enjoy Will's journey here. Thanks so much. We're here with Will Rivard. Why don't you tell us a little bit about when you were first diagnosed? So I was first diagnosed my freshman year of college, and that was 2015. So it was um, the fall of 2014, I started to have symptoms and started to see just a little bit of blood. I was terrified, wouldn't tell anyone for months. And then it wasn't until I think spring of my freshman year of college when I actually got diagnosed. How did and you feel getting the diagnosis? I spent so many months just terrified of like what it could be. And then when I went in, I got diagnosed with proctitis at first. So in a lot of college, it was never that bad. It was pretty manageable. Certain doctors were like, yeah, no, diet, lifestyle, don't worry about any of that. That doesn't matter. Just uh, take this magic pill and hopefully you don't end up back here. So what were some of your symptoms back then? At first, it was just a little bit of blood and then the blood started to get worse and then just a lot of mucus. And then I started having to go to the bathroom once every hour. And at that point, I would feel some pressure in like my lower stomach, by my belly button. That I would be relieved for like 30 minutes, an hour maybe, until I started to feel discomfort again. So every hour with a bowel movement. So how many bowel movements per day were you having with the blood? At this point, probably maybe 10 or 12 maybe a little more and then i first took some misalami it was like the lowest dose it went away completely for a few months until one day again i think it was about six months later it popped right back up again so now how did your family react then they were you know reassuring but you know just we just tried to think of things we we're grateful about we we're just grateful about that the medicine was you know at least keeping some of the symptoms subdued a little bit um, because I was at the time, you know, thinking that was the only option. But then as college went on, it slowly got worse and I, they, they slowly kept kind of moving around in a few different medications and kept upping the dose. It just got worse. In college, coming out of college, what did it, what did it do to your social life? Girlfriends, stuff like that. I would always have to, I mean, I would, you know, again, thankfully it was somewhat manageable, but I always just have to, I would have to be upright about them and be like, hey, like, um, 
I'm going to spend, you know, be running to the bathroom every couple hours, you know, like this. I, I don't know if I can go on this hiking trip. Um, if we do go on outdoors and whatnot, I need to be careful. Um, and it was just kind of, I tried to, you know, pretend it wasn't there and act like everything was mm -hmm. fine. But I would hear comments from them that like, yeah, you struggle with that quite a bit. And I would just try to pretend it wasn't there and try to pretend I could still live a normal life. Deep down, I was talking about our future. And then <laughs> yeah, I'm just thinking like, yeah, I hope I'm around for if I have kids one day, if I'm around their whole life for a lot of their life, because like my health is just getting worse and worse. I don't know where I'm going to be 10 years from now. So then how did you find Crohn's colitis lifestyle? Christmas Day 2019 was the first time it got bad. I actually ended up in the hospital for a few days um, on Christmas Day, which was, you know, um, really unfortunate. And then um, I thought like, okay, this is like when I have to get serious about this at this point, thinking like just gonna happen more and more and more. And then the doctor started talking about next steps, putting me on, you know, Remicade or surgery in the future just because there had been a lot of damaged tissue. And I kind of just realized like, I'm gonna be kind of open about this. Like I don't know how to hide it anymore. And I think I, I kind of just was letting people know. And then that's when Erica reached out to me. She told me that, hey, my dad went through all this. He actually kind of healed himself in more natural ways, but it just takes a lot of, you know, work and coaching and whatnot. And you should reach out to him. And then that's, yeah, that's when I reached out and then talked to you guys. How long did it take us to get results? I started to see small results and symptoms kind of immediately. It was just very back and forth. I'd say it took two months before I could start going out and spending time with people again. After a few hours, my energy levels would start to drop, drop off, but I could see them again. So it took two or three months to be able to get to that point. Now, how do you feel? I I don't think I've ever felt this good in my entire life. <laughs> I'm honestly at the point right now where it's like, I'd say I'm going to bathroom twice a day, but there's still occasionally some spots of blood. I think I'm just dealing with a lot of scar tissue. But do you have any confidence now? I grew up playing sports all the time. I'm, I'm still, you know, I'm doing some martial arts and going to the gym. And I don't know if I've ever felt this much energy after long workouts and long exercises. So yeah, it's pretty great. Also how my life's changed and how this kind of made me focus on my health and then how I've gotten to a point where my body can get through whatever. And I, I've, I've never felt this good. So what would you tell somebody that's struggling out here, kind of where I was and where you were back in those bad, dark days? Um, because it can be overwhelming. I kind of talked to them about just a few key points on what exactly we're doing and why it works. Basically what we're doing is we're trying to actually heal the body, you know, actually deal with the root causes and trying to, um, you know, work on all those things all at the same time, which I think a lot of other treatment paths nowadays only work on one thing at a time and don't work in the long or short term. So basically what it takes is just, it, it, what it takes is A is hope and that trust that, you know, you're gonna figure it out and it's gonna work out. One thing that I think is overlooked a lot is at, that I overlooked a lot beyond the mental part of things. One thing I've learned is that's probably the most important thing. If you have unhealthy behaviors and traumas that are, you're gonna, you're gonna keep stumbling. And I think this might be one of the better things that happens in your, in your life, like at, at, when you come out the other end, because you're gonna realize to overcome this obstacle in my life, I gotta figure all of this out.